Hello and welcome, I'm Ken Gowdy. In this tutorial I'm going to explain why I use mouthpiece patches on all of my mouthpieces. Stay tuned. Mouthpiece patches are very small but they're very important. I use mouthpiece patches for three reasons. The first reason is on your mouthpiece, the top of the mouthpiece which is called the beak is very smooth. Now when you put that in your mouth, if there's no mouthpiece patch on it, then it's going to slide around in your mouth. So once you've got that perfect embouchure and you're playing music, then any slight movement of the saxophone will cause the mouthpiece to slide around in your mouth and you will lose that perfect embouchure. So having a mouthpiece patch on your mouthpiece will cause some friction between the mouthpiece and your teeth, which will cause the mouthpiece to stay in place where it should be. The second reason why I use mouthpiece patches has to do with the vibrations of the saxophone. When you play the saxophone, it will vibrate. Those vibrations will actually transmit into your teeth and into your skull. It will transmit into your teeth because your teeth is in direct contact because you place your teeth on the mouthpiece. So it's in direct contact with the mouthpiece and you're going to actually feel those vibrations. Now, some musicians love to feel the vibrations. It gives them some connection with their instrument. But personally for me, those vibrations are very strong. So therefore I use a mouthpiece patch because then it creates a barrier between the mouthpiece and my teeth and dampens the vibrations. The third reason why I use mouthpiece patches has to do with protection. Protection for my teeth and protection for my mouthpiece. Obviously if you're gonna rub your teeth against the surface sooner or later it's gonna wear down your teeth or cause some other permanent damage. Uh, if your teeth are sharp then rubbing it against uh, a mouthpiece every time you put it in your mouth and you're playing music you're actually going to scratch that mouthpiece. Now that might not be a problem for you but if you've got, got an expensive mouthpiece and you want to sell it in the future then obviously you don't want any scratches on it. And if you continue to use the, the mouthpiece in that way those scratches can develop into a deep ridge which, um, which would not be too good for your mouthpiece. Mouthpiece patches come in different sizes for different instruments and they come in different thicknesses. Some musicians like to choose the thin um, mouthpiece patch because then they get more of the vibrations. Others like the thicker um, uh, mouthpiece patches because they have less vibrations and obviously it takes them longer time to bite through the actual mouthpiece patch. Mouthpiece patches come in different colours. You get them in black, you get them in white, you get them in clear. And different manufacturers will make different claims. So some manufacturers will say that their mouthpiece patches will leave no residue or glue on your mouthpiece. Because obviously you're going to have to change them. I change my mouthpiece patches every two months because I play quite a lot. And uh, sooner or later my teeth begin to grind down into the mouthpiece and bite through it. And obviously I don't want my teeth to touch the mouthpiece so I'm going to have to change it. So I change it every two months and when you peel it off to change it then you don't want there to be left some residue. You don't want there, there to be left glue. Obviously mouthpiece patches are very important so some musicians actually make their own. They, they get some tape and they, they cut it in pieces and they build up layers on their mouthpiece. So for instance they may get some duct tape or gorilla tape or carpet tape and then they cut it cut rectangles off and then start building up layers but I wouldn't recommend that because you don't know how toxic the uh, glue is. It's best to get um, a product that's actually made to go in your mouth because obviously they would have, have tested the glue to make sure that it is safe for you to use in your mouth. When I first started um, using mouthpiece patches I went out and brought a branded uh, mouthpiece patch. It had their logo on it. It looked very nice. Uh, it was a 0.8 millimeter thickness. There was six in a packet and it was quite expensive. Uh, and I used that for quite a while. Then looking online, I found another uh, manufacturer, which was a no brand, a no name branded um, product. But in this case, it was a lot cheaper and there were 32 as opposed to six mouthpiece patches in it. So I thought I'd give it a try, thinking that because it's cheaper and because there were a lot more patches in it, it wouldn't be so good. But personally, I couldn't, tell the difference. Uh, both mouthpiece patches lasted the same length of time. They both did exactly the same job. And the cheaper version, which had 32 patches in it, obviously lasted longer because it had more patches in it. So when buying mouthpiece patches, obviously just because it's branded doesn't necessarily mean that it is better. Though having said that, you will find some mouthpiece patches having better material and having better adhesive. Like I said, some manufacturers do claim that when you take off their mouthpiece patches, they will leave no residue, which is always good.
You may find that after playing for a while there is some glue seepage from the edge of the mouthpiece patch and a build up of calcium from your saliva. So I hope you found this video helpful, especially if you're new to playing a saxophone and you're thinking about going to buy a mouthpiece patch. Uh, if you did find it helpful then obviously give it a like and please subscribe to the channel because a lot more videos will be added shortly. See you soon.